My name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington, and I'm an occupational therapist. When working toward any goals or objectives, it is always best to be in the right state of mind, whether it's an individual with ADHD that needs to focus more, an individual with sensory integration, sensory seeking tendencies that need to center themselves, or someone difficult to arouse to participate in an activity. Achieving these states of mind such as concentration, focus, or relaxation can be difficult for some individuals to achieve. One of the newest therapies that I have been using with great success is called brain entrainment. I have garnered significant results in the areas of attention span, attention to task, focus, and concentration with populations consisting of autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, and those with sensory integration issues. Now, what is brain entrainment? To begin, let's start by understanding what brain waves are. We all experience different states of mind each day. States such as sleep, focus, concentration, relaxation, or creativity, for example. Every state has a unique electrical signature that can be detected in the brain. With the discovery of brain waves came the discovery that electrical activity in the brain will change depending on what the person is doing. For instance, the brain waves of a sleeping person are vastly different than the brain waves of someone wide awake. Over the years, more sensitive equipment has brought us closer to figuring out exactly what brain waves represent and with that, what they mean about a person's health and state of mind. Using specialized equipment, these waves or frequencies can be measured and recorded, allowing us to map what brain waves are present during certain key states of mind or various activities. By changing your brainwave patterns, you can actually recreate certain states of mind. Again, such as sleep, focus, concentration, relaxation, or creativity. Usually, this works by listening to a particular brainwave pattern, which is a specific pulse frequency encoded into audio. The brain then mimics or follows that pattern, and as a result, changes your state of mind. Let's go a little more in depth with a simple example. Try striking a tuning fork then putting a second tuning fork next to it. The second tuning fork starts vibrating at the exact same frequency as the first. This is a wonderful phenomenon in the world of science and it's known as frequency follow response or FFR or entrainment in our case. It's another way of saying follow the leader. The same thing happens with the brain. If you expose it to a certain frequency your brain waves will follow that specific frequency. In other words, if your brain was exposed to an alpha 10 hertz frequency, your brain wave patterns would shift toward that frequency. In turn, since alpha frequency are those that relate to being relaxed and tranquil, that would bring about a state of mind that's calmed and having a detached relaxation feeling. That's what brain entrainment is a method of influencing your brainwave patterns and ultimately changing your state of mind on demand. Now from a medical perspective when I first heard of brain entrainment I was quite skeptical. So I decided to scientifically and methodically put brain entrainment to the test and see the evidence for myself. So I conducted a brief experiment with multiple individuals. Using electroencephalographic devices I would monitor their neurological activity prior to the brain entrainment session and then re-measure their neurological activity following the brain entrainment sessions. I found that approximately 87.35% of participants, their brain entrains to the specific frequency that I was attempting to replicate. As I progressed and understood the science more, I embarked on making personal brain entrainment session music. 
music that is based specifically for the common traits of a specific diagnosis or condition. The musical brain entrainment compositions have been extremely beneficial for a multitude of my clients, patients, and students, and I have received rave reviews from parents and caretakers that have utilized the sessions further at either their homes or in school environments. Now below in the description you will find a link where you can download and sample some of the brain entrainment compositions or just give them a listen. I invite your feedback and opinions in order to make improvements. Now for a limited time and for a limited number of those that would like to try an entire session which tends to be anywhere from 20 minutes to 60 minutes, please email me for further details. Also, look for part two of this video for a description of the brain entrainment sessions that are available via download on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. Again, thanks for spending time with me. I'm Dr. Frederick B. Covington, and we'll be seeing you next time. Take care.